Hi everyone, welcome to another Shop My Stash full face of nothing new. You said you enjoyed the last one and it's quite fun for me actually. So I just found this. <laughs> Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup SPF 45. It's in a tube. Mine is in 3W1 Tony. Can remember at all what this is like. The colour hopefully will be still okay. This is a colour that I used to use in... If you've been with me from the beginning, you would know they're my all-time favourite for years. I would say like 10 years before I started YouTube was the Estee La Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But then with years, I found it too heavy so then I think this one came out last year didn't it hmm it is nice I, I forgot completely what this foundation was like I was thinking I bet it doesn't have any coverage but it actually does And looks very very natural yeah it's um, I would say it's a light medium coverage need to go down my neck can you see now I don't have any fake tan on um, this sun damage that I have on both sides of my neck going right to here and obviously my whole chest I should seriously think this winter to have it lasered I'm very patchy so I'm gonna put a bit of it on my neck to even it out let's do this sponge that is a bit too light to cover it so ugly that sun damage this is very nice right concealer tarte ultra 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 creamy so this is like the shape tape but is ultra creamy so you probably know how much i loved the shape tape amazing concealer and it looked really good but I remember at the time I bought it and I used it every day I felt like it dried out under my eyes uh, so I stopped using it so this one is ultra creamy and I, I didn't buy it that long ago but I remember it, it has tiny bit less coverage I would say that the shape tape probably used too much because I don't remember what uh, a little it definitely goes a long way but I will soak up the rest with a sponge it is definitely not like shape tape definitely doesn't have the same coverage but it is definitely creamy. I I don't know if if I like it that much. There is nothing wrong with it, if you know what I mean. But um, you know, like sometimes you can put your finger on it, what it is, that you can't really say anything bad about it, but somehow the way it looks you just know that there are other things you have that look better <laughs> so I am not great fan of it I think that it could be good to like conceal other places on your face you know like my nose okay what should we set my under eye with right how about hourglass veil 
hourglass is very expensive but I've got the mini size and I think that might have actually come as an extra with something that I've ordered and actually I love the mini size I mean you never finish huge huge powder especially if you're just using it under your eyes so it doesn't work out that expensive to buy the small size and it will last you forever if you use it just under your eyes and this is such a lovely powder so finely milled and it's not very matte either so it's not showing really so I do like it and I do use it sporadically when I remember okay um, I've got nothing old for mineral powder foundation that I always set my foundation with so I'm using the Lily Lolo in Cookie I could have used another color of the Lola, Laura Mercy but I don't want to keep using it as it has been discontinued I just know that using mineral foundation powder as your setting powder makes every foundation look 100% better well maybe you wouldn't do it with like very full coverage matte foundation that might be too much but I don't really like I cannot imagine setting my foundation with anything other than this type of product okay you know the drill with the brows we're not doing anything new so I will just apply the legendary brow to prepare my brows and while that is drying I'm gonna do the rest um, bronzers you know apart from last time I did the hourglass bronzer that I really forgot about the bronzers that I have in my stash right now, I use all of them. So it's not like, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It's not like I forgot about them. I think I just use them, I just swap between them, you know, depends how I feel on a day. I like them all, the ones that I have, so this is not as if I've forgotten about this one you see me using this one a lot it's one of my favorites I did a video didn't I a while ago about my favorite bronzes blushes and lipsticks for the summer so that definitely would have been in there blush this I did forget this is a Charlotte Tilbury cheek to cheek and this is love is the drag you know those blushes they look like nipples <laughs> they are beautiful but do you know um, you've seen me using much cheaper blushes and I just feel that unless you really love something and the color and the formula I don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money on the blush there is so many beautiful inexpensive blushes you know um, one of my favorite is the NYX can't remember the actual name of the blush it's, I think it's called something cream blush but it's not cream and they come in matte or glow and I like the glow one in Daydream. Wrong brush. I always go a bit heavier with the blush because I think it doesn't matter what blush it is, somehow it disappears a bit. Maybe like sinks in into your skin. So, And also once you've done your eyes, the blush doesn't look so crazy. Right, I'm gonna go off and do my brows. Right, brows are done. For my eyes, I am going to use the BH Cosmetics Beautiful in Barcelona palette. You know that 
as far as drugstore eyeshadows go, I think BH Cosmetics are amazing and they have loads of palettes. I have a couple and I keep looking and there is loads that I fancy, but I don't want to buy something that I know, you know, I love all the colourful palettes, but I know I am not going to be using it that much. So whenever I see one that really speaks to me, I will definitely buy another one. With Rifa 15, I am going to go into Dolce. You just take little amount and make sure you blend it out. You see, so it doesn't look so dark. Now it does. <laughs> But you know what I mean, just take a little bit first and then blend it upwards and outwards like so. I wanted to ask you something. Um, could you please check if you are subscribed to me that you have your notification bell turned on? Because I was looking at my stats the other day my analytics and it showed me in there that only 14 14 one four percent of my subscribers turned on their notifications which means that you might never see my video again um, the youtube algorithm works in such a funny way now that if you don't watch someone regularly or you don't have the notifications turned on they will never show you that I've got a new video because and I've noticed that sometimes someone will come on in my comments and say oh I haven't seen your video for ages and I'm like I'm mostly here I'm definitely here every Monday and most Wednesdays so how is that um so yeah, the notifications are quite important. And now I am going to go into Spain with P60, Hulu P66. And work on I mean that is so beautiful. They look so smooth. I tell you, this eyeshadow that I'm using right now, the Spain one, is not really different to the Natasha Denona, you know, one of those plummy eyeshadows in her latest retro palette, quality wise. I mean, it's just beautiful. Uh, I, I keep blending it out with the um, Rifa 15. With the Rifa 03 I'm going to go to Spain again and apply it on my lower lash line. That's such a beautiful colour. I hope this palette is still available because so I've got another one, the one in London and I don't know if that one is still available. Then I am going to take, this is Louise Young LY38A and I'm going to go into stone and just blend that Spain a bit with it. You definitely get quite a out there look with these because they are all quite dark and and, um, and quite pigmented. I could do more delicate look, but you know me. Um, okay, now I'm going to go into 
enchanting and oh my god that I know it's beautiful Rifa Auto and I'm going to apply it on my mobile lid almost into the inner corner if I use that wet I mean look at it dry so if you like the Natasha Denona retro palette and you want similar look I would say that there is two four five eyeshadows that are quite similar sort of along that um, color scheme you know that mauvey plummy purpley tones <laughs> I was going to use exquisite in my corner but it's more beige I think I'm gonna start stay with the enchanted and go right into the inner corner with it actually because this is like a nice pink honestly this palette is just worth for that and I think right now they have these palettes on sale so have a look I'm going to go back to Spain and just darken the outer V. Right, mascara. Um, do you remember when I bought the NARS Climax Extreme? So I love the red one, the Just Climax. This is Extreme, which is blacker but I think it was too wet for me but hopefully by now it dried out a bit so I haven't used it for ages my lashes are not very good on this eye like I've told you before they just fallen out and the new ones are growing back so I can't really tell on this side but this eye is better now I I done oh yeah I've got lashes here yeah this mascara is better now it's dried out a bit but I still like the original climax although I done I use it on its own when my lashes are like in full you know they are long and and thick but when they start falling out like right now I would use another mascara for like volume and thickness on the top of it so now I wouldn't buy this mascara again I do the brush is slightly different to the original climax I know some of you love this mascara I don't I find with mascaras is such a personal thing nothing wrong with it but not my favorite now for lips I've got nothing for lips I never get that excited about lipstick you know you know I like glosses but do you know what I just found here in my box the Jeffree Star um, Velour liquid lipstick in androgyny and it looks very dark but it sort of looks like you would go with it so let's have a look you know I'm not a fan of um, matte lipsticks but his lipsticks are really good and I would use probably lip gloss on the top of it I don't have a lip I don't have a lip liner here. But if you're careful you can look, use this as lip liner, just don't take too much. <laughs> Not very even. This is actually a really nice colour. Forget my hair. I've washed my hair and all I did is 
blow dried it with a paddle brush and of course used the what's the crimping tool that I bought not long ago got volume so my hair is not looking I haven't straightened it or anything this is really nice color you know it looks good oh I have here my favorite gloss from Too Faced raising the roof so if I use that it won't feel so dry <laughs> this is so uneven <laughs> right so that's the finished look absolutely love this palette I don't use it much well I don't use much of any palette because I have so many that's why these videos are so good for me as well okay my lovely so that's it I'm loving it I do like this lipstick anyway I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye